Those 65 and over are expected to be next in line at the end of the month, but tonight we're learning it could be earlier. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is joining us now live. And Matthew, what's behind this latest information? Well, Aaron, it's the very real possibility that more manufacturers could be producing the vaccine. I want to give you these numbers that we just learned within the hour. Governor Lamont says he talked with Pfizer, which is based in Connecticut. They told him the federal government bought 100 million doses. Now, that order has doubled to 200 million, and they're negotiating another round of 300 million Pfizer doses, which could start arriving by the end of March going through the summer. Now, if you combine this with what's coming from Moderna and the others, a significant portion of the population will be covered, and that just speeds up our timeline. We've got the capacity to vaccinate 10 times as many people as we've got now down in Waterbury. They're getting whatever it is, um, maybe 100 a day, and they could do a 10 times amount. Um, you know, they are ready to go. But the good news is, um, you know, 65, that cohort, pretty soon we want to get more into essential workers, more in the broader category. We're going to be able to open up that aperture, and I'd like to think, like to think we're going to see a, a bigger supply of vaccines. Now, the governor expects to see an increase in shipments in the next two or three weeks, and all of this does depend on the supply chain, which we saw this week has not been the sturdiest. How the state plans to shore that up with the federal government coming up at 6. For now, live here at the Digital Desk, Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News.